Now you can see that actually uh, proper fitting shoes are very important in the sense that uh, is your leg supinated, pronated or over pronated? In other words, is your leg, leg turn, in, turn out just like ducks? There's a duck's leg, huh? flapping just like Charlie Chaplin walking. Huh? And, uh, or, your, or your leg is the time which is actually supinated, uh, supinated, which is actually close up quite, quite hard. You have to buy the shoes that be fitting that particular kind of food, not just simply any shoe. Another thing is that one of the, the things that give a lot of trouble is because of the shoelace. When you tie your shoelace, you begin to run it the time. You thought, okay, let me tie my shoelace now. And then it's, about, it's, it's so nice, everything's so nice. But while, while you're running after 10 kilometers, your leg swells down. And you do not know, you continue running, that's why it gives you trouble. You must make sure that the shoelace are not too tight. It gives you some space so that the leg later on swells up. You actually, uh, it can accommodate the swelling, huh? even though it's even only a little bit. It is quite a bit to some people, huh? and of course, it's an explanation. Next one, please. Now, uh, it's running back to my heart. I think most of you, like myself, who is worried about this because you, you've heard, you've seen people suddenly drop dead. Huh? Uh, we do not want that to happen. Running a marathon heart uh, is hard on what's so called uh, recently, in fact, the latest. A study which is only published on the 9th of uh, October of this year, that this, this month, uh, by what's called the Canadian uh, uh, the Journal of Cardiology, says that actually running is bad for heart uh, because it can hurt. And uh, provided, provided you do training properly, if you train properly, your heart is okay. But if you don't train and then suddenly you want to run around, you are in trouble. So your endurance training is very important because endurance training will train up your heart. Make sure that your heart can perform. And therefore, concentrate on that. Eh? So your, end, your endurance uh, training is very, very important. In other words, this particular uh, uh, article tells you that whenever you run a full marathon or whatever you do, your heart definitely is slightly affected. And this is the reason why Resting days are very, very important. You want your heart to recover back. Do the heart to recover back? Yes, it will recover back. Eh? But you must give it time to recover. Now, uh, James, uh, uh, this James Fix, the famous James Fix, eh? actually, many of people call him as the father of running, uh, of running because he wrote uh, this book, which was a complete book of running, uh, and uh, it, it became, what so called, I think, about 11 weeks, uh, also on the bestseller. At that time, in what so called 70s and 80s, uh, he actually, this book was very, very famous throughout the whole world. Everywhere you go, people are talking about James Fix. Yeah? And James, James Fix wrote this book. But unfortunately, what, in fact, when he, when he started to run that time, he started only at the age of 35. He started running at the old age. And then, uh, and he weighed at that time was 240 pounds. Can you imagine? Yeah? Then, uh, and, he's, and he was smoking around like two, pack, two, two, two packets of cigarettes per day. Now, uh, and then he wrote the book, and then when he was running, what is so called, when he published the book at the time, he was 60 pounds uh, lighter, in other words, 30 kilo less. Okay, next one, please. But what happened was that in July uh, 20th, 1984, in what is so called in, in Vermont, uh, this Jim speaks while running, after running, he collapsed. Pass away. He died. At that time, when they, they opened, the autopsy shows that actually his that his heart there was actually blocked vessels. One was 95 percent, second one 85, and the third one was 50 percent. And uh, so, and, and because he was the father of uh, Vasudeva Rani, who wrote this book, and therefore people began to get worried at that time. They said, "My God, running actually kills." And therefore, a lot of people start, start, started talking that we should not run, we should not run, and they ran. But if you look very carefully into the Jim Fix case, which type of family does it come from? It comes from a family where they, they, they had very poor health history. His father actually had a heart attack at 35. His father at the age of 35 had a heart attack. And of course, later on, he passed away at the age of 42. If Jim Fix did not run, did not practice running, he probably would have died even earlier than his father. So it was running which protected his heart. So in other words, don't worry, run. But uh, you, you must know how to run. Okay, next one, please. Now, is, is heart is running good or bad? 
Number one, cardiac changes related to endurance exercise. It actually trains your heart, your, your heart out and then it, it gives you very good protections. I remember in 19... somewhere I think... Uh, uh, 1986 or 87 at the time, where one of the one of the Mad Bunch runners, of course I, I won't name the person, he, would, he, he actually just a few days before uh, the marathon run, he went to, to practice in uh, our, our this youth park. While he was at youth park, he saw the rope and then he started climbing up the rope. After climbing up, he came down and then he went back home to sleep. When he went back home, then the night he, he suffered some chest pain. His wife was a nurse and therefore his wife said, my gosh, his heart attack straight away into our general hospital, the, 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 the hospital emergency department. When he went there, because he was a, the, 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 the wife was the nurse, and therefore the cardiologist came down. The, the cardiologist came down and saw him. After seeing did an ECG straight away into ICU. So he, he was admitted to ICU. When he was in ICU, after staying for a few hours, he got fed up because that was actually, I think, Thursday or Friday. He got fed up. He, he pulled everything off and then he signed AOR and, and went off. AOR means on his own risk and he signed and he left the hospital. After leaving the hospital, he went to the went back home. His wife said that, oh, you don't like the hospital. He said, no, it's dangerous. You cannot do anything. So the wife insisted that taking him to the time G, uh, what's it called, BMC, the medical center. And he was seen by the cardiologist, the cardiologist did the ECG, immediately ICU. Put him ICU and not even walking up on wheelchair, pushing to ICU. He went out there and that was actually was, uh, Saturday, Saturday morning. He went there and then so after staying for a few hours, he pulled everything off and then uh, he came down and see me. He came down and see me and then he said that uh, Okay, so I did an ECG. I said, Okay, you can run. So he said, Ah, now I'm happy, I can go back and run. So he went out to run. But I received a call from his wife. The wife, because he did not tell me that he went to General Hospital and then to GMC. So the wife said that, Do you know he went to, uh, to, to uh, General Hospital and also to GMC? I said, No, I didn't know, he didn't tell me. He said, Okay, if my, if my husband ran and then he collapsed, to sue him. So you can imagine, eh? that was frightening. Eh? But I was not that worried at that time. Because why? Because he was the guy who ran in our first marathon, which was in 1990, 1982. And at that time, I told him, we did actually a survey of all the, what's it called, out of 649 runners, we did more than 300 world runners, ECG, blood tests, and everything. So from the from ECG sir, I saw, I said, no problem, you can run. Why was it so? Because at that time, a, a lot of cardiologists still did not understand that the, the, the cardiac changes, or the ECG cardiac changes, and uh, was about in runners, in particular endurance runners. When you, if, if you are not reading it carefully, you think it's a heart attack. Because why? Because your heart becomes bigger. Your heart becomes bigger, your muscle becomes stronger and therefore it beats even harder. And because of your heart muscle becomes bigger and thicker, the transmissions of the impulse, in, in other words, your, your, your electrical impulse trans transmitted across it becomes slower. And that mimics exactly the heart attack. And because of this, the cardiologists, we don't blame the cardiologists. They, they said, no, you cannot run. And therefore, but uh, this man, run. Ran, ran our marathon. After running the marathon, I remember our medical base was in the city stadium. After finishing the run, he came back and was shouting at me, Doctor I finished my run and better timing, no? <laughs> so I said, Sir, while he was shouting, the, 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 the cardiologist was standing next to me. He said, What? You ran? Is it? He said, I told you not to run, isn't it? He said, Yeah, I finished my run already. <laughs> and walk off, is it? Yeah? Now, because of this, therefore, in 1992, uh, the International Olympic Council got worried about this because of interpretations of ECG gave you very wrong reading. Because of this, and also because many runners collapsed and died. So, 
That's how we started the, the IOC, started also called the course, which is known as the Masters in the Sports Cardiology. I was lucky to, to receive that uh, to receive that uh, scholarship and went to Rome to study for that. You see? So imagine, in other words, the cardiac changes in runners can be very much different. It is not the same as usual people. You are all unusual people. <laughs> Because you take up endurance running and your heart becomes stronger. That's one thing I can tell you. Now, the, it gives you longevity, longer life. You know, we, we know that once you're healthier, you, 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 you tend not to actually get sick so often and then you don't actually, uh, in fact, you tend to have longer life. But the one question, the, the thing is that I can tell you, uh, I don't know whether to tell you or not to tell you. <laughs> non runners, before they die, they fall sick and the sickness breaks on for a long time. Runners, their sickness is very short. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Those people are very thick like this. So I do not know which one you want to choose. <laughs> but I'll choose the second one. <laughs> no, uh, then the, uh, your cartilage, your knee cartilage becomes thicker. Yes, definitely. And eh? protects you. Eh? You don't need to actually go for all these lubrications today. Doctors make a lot of money by giving injections and trying to lubricate your cartilage. Eh? Actually, eh? Then the third one is that less physical disability and have 39% lower mortality rate than the normal, for so called non runners. Eh? Besides this, there is definitely a psychological effect eh? that helps you. When you run, you feel very much better when you are fit. Eh? Another one which I forgot to write down is that at social personal benefits. You begin to make friends. You are more friendly, you are more tolerant, you like people, when people make mistakes, people fail, you are not going to challenge them so much. Because you know, not everybody can do the same. Huh? Next one, please. Yeah, I think, uh, well, I hope you have a good run and enjoy yourself. And then, uh, well, I hope you do not need to come and see us in the medical <laughs> Thank you.